Back from Once Upon a Time, this is episode one of season three. Uh, finally starting a new season, and I'm very, very excited to get into this one. Um, given how, not only because of how last season ended, but so many of you guys have said season three is your favourite season. Um, so I'm really, really excited to see why that is, and uh, what it's going to entail, what it's going to be about, what characters we're going to, you know, see again, what new characters we're going to meet. Um, it's always exciting when you literally start a season and you have no idea where they're going to go with like, the overall plot. Um, so, who knows what's going to happen, but I am very, very excited um, to get into this season. Because obviously, it ended off a bit of a cliffhanger with, uh, you know, Henry kind of being kidnapped by Greg and Tamara. And they're all going to Neverland, which is very exciting. Um, so, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see... We're going to take this um, season and its premiere just to kick off the season, obviously. Uh, so yeah, don't really have a lot to say because I can't really speculate on much yet because I have no idea what could potentially be happening. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to get back into the show and start a new season. Really loving the show. I really enjoyed, you know, the first two seasons. So I'm excited to see what a lot of people's favourite season is going to be about. So let's get into it. And the best child ever was born. I'm not getting a status light on this thing. Did you check the batteries? Ooh. Sandy, baby. He said I'm a villain. Yeah. And that villains don't get happy endings. Do you believe that? I hope not. I don't. And we wasted our lives. Oh. You can't blame yourself. I don't. I blame you. Oh, fucking hell, I she's gonna say that. All this happened because I listened to you. You say good always wins? It doesn't. That was my idea. I didn't grow up in some fairy tale land. The minute. I let go of the belief that things will get better is the minute I know they won't. Yeah, you just fall into a black hole then. We'll Not literally, him. but... Oh. That was a bit extra. You making some more? No. Oh. Building a signal. You're not getting home. Sucks to be you. And you're not getting the boy. I think they're gonna get the boy. Oh! Run. Holy shit! Is he dead? Oh! Is that it for them already? I mean, I'm not mad. Thanks. Pan and his forces are in tune with every grain of sand on the island. We must be careful. Are, are you a watch yeah, boy? He sounds like me. I was. I've made a friend. Come here. Tim. Awesome, but he's actually alive, guys. See? How long was he with you? Long enough for me to know that I miss him too. Oh. Ooh. Mermaid. I will not be capsized by fish. <laughs> not for this. I was gonna say that you could. Oh, I mean, physics said that shouldn't work, but it's magic, so. I think a bar of electricity would do the job, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Dinner time. If Pan wants you. He will get you. Why does Pen want you? I don't know if I trust this kid. My family's different. Oh, he always finds the best family ever. They don't. It's gonna be okay. I promise. Oh. Don't lose hope. All we need is time. Is there a place where we can hide from He thinks a lot like Snow and Charming do. 
Which is interesting. There's a place they can't track us. The Echo Caves. Because Emma would never hold fun. that attitude against Henry, I don't think. Yeah, they made a movie about you. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it's a movie. They're making another one. Uh, who's your father? He's got a fresh new coat. Fresh new boots. Oh, bitch, you're fucked. You shot his son. Henry. Can you forgive me? No. No. Oh! Bye, Tamara. Oh, my God. Threatening her isn't the way to motivate her. Well, I'm all out of fish food. Doesn't matter if you get it. <laughs> You'll kill yourselves. Now let me go. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's more like the charming. Filet the bitch. Did she just say filet the bitch? <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> that poor actress just lying down in that fucking tail. There. That should stop the storm. Oh. Regina! What did you do? Oh dear. Front three rows are gonna get wet. Oh my god. The slow motion water shot. Best season yet. Now someone's here. Hopefully that wasn't poisoned. The first was a warning, milady. Chivalry and all that. Who oh. are you? Robin. No way. Robin oh. Hood. I bow, but this quiver's rather tight. That's not Tom S. Now. See these markings? He's keeping track of me growing. Oh. Damn, Donatello. What's in there? Let's find out. Definitely not a prisoner, so I don't think they've been fed. Holy shit! What was that? Oh! Oh! Let's just relax! Guys! Children! Children! Behave! Oh. Shit. Is there any other way to the Echo Caves? Fairy dust. We're done for. Believe in fairies. Happy thoughts. Give them the pixie dust. I definitely do not believe. That's okay. Oh. He does. Because I do. Yes! They fall to their death. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Please don't get shot down. That'd be really embarrassing. This is a bold strategy she's put in to make them work together. <laughs> Hello, Rumpelstiltskin. Uh, Pan welcomes you to the island. Well, the question isn't, will I survive? Because we both know I won't. No, no. The real question is, how many of you I take with me? Oh, shit. There's something he wanted you to have.
Really dull? No. Oh. What is it then? See around, dark one. Oh. What is it? And this Neverland. Jesus, yes. It's time for all of us to believe. Not in magic. In life after love. But in each other. No. Oh. Yeah, I quite fancy you from time to time when you're not yelling at me. <coughs> we don't need to be friends. And what's your skill, Savior? I'm a mother. And now I'm also <laughs> your leader. So either help me get my son back or get out of the way. Ah. I'm a bit turned on, to be honest. So, see, same book, same. Oh my. Ominous panning. <laughs> oh, of course, it's just fucking this one. You couldn't be more right, Henry. You are evil, aren't you? How'd you know my name? Gonna say, I never you? told you. You work for Pan. Not exactly. I am Peter Pan. Oh, shit! And it is so much easier to get people to hate something than to believe. That's true. Why did you bring me here? I've sought something extremely important. Something more elusive than the greatest of all mysteries. What? The heart you. of the truest believer. And when you took that pixie dust, Henry, you and it are mine. Back off, Peter Pan. Come on, boys! Oh, shit. Evil bastard. He does have a very Peter Pan look to him, though. I should have known. I, knew, I thought he was evil, but I don't think it was Peter Pan. Let's play! Let's not! I loved that episode. I thought that was fantastic. Um, I always think it's really, really hard to do a premiere episode of a show um, for a new season. Um, cause I feel like a lot of it needs to be like set up or introducing characters, so it feels like you can't really like do a lot plot-wise, and sometimes that can make premieres kind of feel a bit slow. Um, you need to like, establish the ground walls for like, the season ahead, or sometimes you'll have to like tie up loose ends in the previous season. Um, but man, I feel like that was like a flawless way of handling that. Um, I mean, I remember being blown away by the pilot of the show. Um, I think it's, I think remains to this day um, one of the best pilots I've seen in the show. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I've loved. So I think the Arrow pilot was great. Um, and yeah, that, this was as well. I mean, whew, this might even have topped the pilot for me. That's like the best premiere. I'm just, yeah, that was awesome. I absolutely loved it. I think it helps I have such like a fondness of like the whole Peter Pan thing and I love seeing him as a villain. Um And that actor, he was good as when he played Pat like, oh I thought he was dodgy, but I didn't expect him to actually be Peter Pan. So that was cool. It's kind of obvious when you look at the kitchen he literally if you're gonna cast him as Peter Pan, that was like a pretty good one to go for. Um Man. Right, anyway, great episode, great premiere, loved it. Um, I like that we started off with the flashback to Emma giving birth to Henry, that was kind of nice. Just reminding us of what like, the big mission here is. Um, and you know, the Pan's goal was to like get the heart of the truest believer. Um, so I love how we opened the episode with the birth of the heart of the truest believer. So I thought that was cool. Um, and how Henry kind of kept proving himself throughout the episode about his belief with like the pixie dust and stuff. Um, and that relates back to something that, ironically, Emma doesn't really like about her parents right now. The fact that they're so full of belief. Um, and I really liked what Mary Margaret was saying about that and the fact that, you know, if she ever stopped believing things would get better, then they definitely never would. Uh, which makes a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, that was cool. I liked the setting of Neverland, looks really cool. Um, I mean, the whole episode felt very dark. Um, that's kind of just the nature of Neverland, I guess, or at least this interpretation of Neverland. Um, and that's not like necessarily a bad thing. Um, 
Greg and Tamara. <laughs> Bye. Um, I assume they're both just dead and gone. I mean, Tamara's definitely dead. Um, and Greg looked pretty dead when that shelly got ripped out of him. But man. <laughs> I, yeah. I was amazed when they survived season two, when they made it to the end of season two. I was like, okay, so they obviously have a big role <laughs> to play in season three. Literally, no. Premiere episode, they're both dead. Um, I'm not mad about it. I feel like their story could have probably ended in the end of season two, especially since they only survived one extra episode. Um, but still, it was nice that they kind of tied that story up with them. And um, I do think the whole thing about the home office um, and the goal to the straight magic was a bit weird. So the fact that that was kind of lies that were kind of fed to them, I thought was an interesting twist, and I liked that a lot. And I really liked Pan's reasoning for doing that um, when he was saying like. Um, it's a lot easier to make someone hate something than believe, um, which is very true. Um, so I really like that that's why Crick and Tomorrow was like against magic and stuff, and they've been kind of manipulated and everything like that. So I really liked the reveal for that. Um, and yeah, that's the end of them, I guess. Um, I'm not too sad about it. I was interested in their plotline while it lasted. Um, but yeah. That's it for Greg and Tamara. I wasn't expecting them to bow out quite so quickly. Uh, but there we are. Made for an interesting story. And that's it now. Greg can go and see his dad in heaven. Um, although Greg may be going to hell after all of this, but who knows. Um, and then, yeah. I love that Gold killed Tamara, though, for that shooting Neil. I love his ruthlessness. Like, he's like such a, like, a sadistic killer at times. But you still just kind of like Rumpelstiltskin. So there you go. Um, so yeah, everything with them is kind of interesting that we saw their downfall very quickly, you know, paving the way for the real villain of the piece, which is obviously Peter Pan. Um, and I like the idea of him as a villain. I really liked the actor that played Pan. I liked the kind of twist with him apparently just being a lost boy, but then he's like the leader. Um, and seeing the lost boys all come into play, I thought it was really cool. So I liked that a lot. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with Pan as like the villain. Um... I'm hoping he's the villain for like the whole season. I feel like he'd be a really interesting big bad, and I feel like he could do a lot with him. Um, and I'm certainly setting up a lot to do with him, I think, because he, he wants Henry's heart right now. Um, exactly why does he want that? I'm looking forward to finding out about that. Hopefully we'll get a bit of backstory about him, so it could be flashbacks. Um, and he also has a his he clearly has a history with Mr. Gold as well. Um, and there's like that voodoo doll kind of doll thing. Um, that Pan got the Lost Boy to give gold and that made him cry. So there's going to be something there that I'm very interested in finding out about. That was one of the big things to me. That I was like, oh shit, what's that? Rubbing my hands together in excitement. Um, so I felt there's a lot to go in terms of story to tell with Peter Pan, so I'm very, very excited about it. Um, I'm really hyped about having him around as a villain. Um, I've always wanted him to show up on the show. So the fact that he's like a, a baddie as well, I think is extra exciting for me. So yeah, that was cool. Um, and then we had like the whole group with Emma and Regina, the Charmings and Hook. I really like that kind of little group. Uh, obviously Gold kind of went off on his own near the start, which is kind of funny. Um, and yeah, I am very interested in seeing where Gold's going to go um, in terms of his um, link with Pan, or his past with Pan. Uh, so that was really cool. And yeah... I did like the conversation with Gina and Hook had in the start about do you think villains can have a happy ending and Hook was like I hope so because otherwise we've just wasted our lives I thought that was kind of cool um, and I also really liked the little moment between Hook and Emma their little scene where they kind of toasted Neil um, and Hook was kind of very sentimental about that and what was it he said um, oh, Emma asked him like how long she knew he'd known him for and he was like long enough to know that I miss him like, huh? I like seeing that kind of sentimental, almost sweeter side to Hook. I thought that was cool. Um, and then, outside of like using the magic and stuff, I don't think Regina had a great deal to do in this episode, but we have a whole season, so that's fine. Um, and then, I liked the kind of arguments people were having, Emma blaming uh, Mary, Margaret and David for what had happened, um, and not really being about their believing life. Um, and that caused some tension there, and then obviously there was some tension 
between Regina and Mary Margaret eventually. I love that they just snapped and Mary Margaret was like, I'm tired of you, um, you know, ruining my life. And then that caused some fights between Hook um, and David. So that was really funny. And then Emma kind of had to sort the whole mess out when she realised that they were caught in the storm that the mermaid had kind of died. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting idea as well to kind of have some character progression in terms of that. I don't know if they're like influenced by like the magic of Neverland or something because I do feel like the way the argument started, I feel like it happened a bit too suddenly for my taste. I feel like it just kind of like came out of nowhere. There wasn't a lot of enough build up to the arguments, um, but still, I liked what they did with it, and I liked how Emma realised if they all got along, the storm would stop. I thought that was an interesting idea to do with it, and I liked the inclusion of mermaids in the episode. Um, devious, devious little things by the looks of it. Um, but you know, that's quite a common interpretation of mermaids, isn't it? That they can be a bit evil. Um, so the inclusion of them was unexpected, but I quite liked it. Um, and it provided some really funny lines. Um, David had a really funny line. What was it about? Um, he was talking about the ship, wasn't he? He was like... I'm not going to be like sunk by fish or something. He didn't say sunk, but that was a really funny line. And then Regina was like, fillet the bitch. <laughs> That's like the best line in Once Upon a Time history, apart from RIP. Um, so yeah, I liked everything that kind of had going on with that. I just, I wish it had, had a bit more build up towards that big climactic fight, um, but I like what they were doing with that whole kind of sequence. Um, and it's nice that they have some time to air their grievances. Um, maybe at an inappropriate time, yes, but still. And then I really liked Emma's speech to them all at the end, like reminding them that you know, what they're after is Henry. I love how Henry's always kind of been the moral centre of the show and like the heart of the show, the heart of the truest believer. Because, um, you know, Gold is hunting down for Henry. Um, Emma and that group are hunting for Henry. And Peter Pan wanted Henry as well. So it's kind of all converging around him, and I really, really like that. Um, so everything with that little group I thought was interesting, and I can't wait to see how slash if they can work together to some find Henry and stop Pan. Um, so I liked all of that. Um, and I enjoyed everything with Neil as well. It's cool that they bring back like Mulan, Aurora and Philip. Obviously we saw them in the finale of last season, but it's nice that we kind of saw a bit more of them. Saw Neil's interactions with them, his reaction to being back in the Enchanted Forest was cool. And I like how well he knows his father and um, that provided a way for him to kind of contact Emma. So I really, really liked everything with him and it's just nice seeing um, those characters again that we saw in like the first half of season two. And it was very timely that um, I'm watching this episode where they talked a lot about the Mulan movie, considering the trailer literally came out for it yesterday, as I'm filming this. Um, so that's kind of funny, and that was good timing there. Um, and then also Robin Hood popped up again, which I'm very happy about. Recast, clearly. Um, but I do know about the behind-the-scenes drama with um, Tom Ellis um, and um, the actress who plays Belle. I kind of heard about all of that. But... So I'm not surprised that they had to recast him if they brought him back. But I'm, I'm happy that Robin Hood could potentially be sticking around for a bit, or at least he's come back for this episode. And I quite enjoyed the actor who played him in this one anyway, so that's fine. Um, Peter Pan and Robin Hood in the same episode. Those are the two characters I like wanted the most for ages. So that's really cool that they both featured in the same one. So that was a nice surprise seeing Robin Hood come back. I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, from start to finish, I absolutely loved that premiere. I thought it was so, so good. Um, definitely getting off to a very strong start this season and I can't wait to see where they're going to take all of this um, you know, how Neil's story is going to play into things um, how Peter Pan's going to be as a villain and his connection to Gold I'm very very intrigued by that whole thing with like, the doll and what that could mean because that's a side to Gold we don't often get to see so I really like that um, and then obviously the group led by Emma very excited for the future of that um, and yeah that was very very exciting did we even see Storybrooke in this episode? I don't think we did. I think it was just like the flashback with Emma. Um, Enchanted Forest and Neverland. I don't think we even saw Storybrooke, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if that's ever happened before, or if, we, or if it is, it's very rarely happened. Um, but yeah, I love this premiere. I loved this whole episode. I thought it was so, so good. I can't wait to see where we're going to go from here. I thought they wrapped up some things from season two very nicely with the whole Greg and Tamara thing, um, and they set up a very interesting season. Um, I can't wait to see where they're going to go with this, but 
what a hell of a start. I'm very, very excited. Um, amazing premiere. Can't wait for more. And until my next reaction, thanks for watching.